Okay, so this time of year, you get yellow jackets building nests in the ground. It's the middle of September. I was mowing this morning and went around and something hit me on the back of the head. And when I came back around, there was a huge swarm of yellow jackets. If it had been later in the day, I'd have probably gotten stung. So what you do is wait till about dark and you find where their hole's at. And it's right in front of us. And they're all coming back in for the evening now. There's been about 20 of them going in the hole since I've been standing here. And you wait till they're all in there asleep and then you pour a little gas down the hole and then you make a little trail of gas and you light it and get rid of all of them which is what we're going to do here in a minute now that we've first located the hole if we go up there now they'll still sting us because they're still active but we'll wait about 20 minutes and then we should be good okay you wait till you haven't seen any of them come back to the nest for a long time which is usually real close to dark because they just keep coming back in and then you're going to pour a few ounces of gas right down in the hole very carefully the opening so I'm going to pour a few ounces down there then I'm going to make a trail of gasoline from there a good ways away try to make a solid trail pouring the gas on the ground oh 15 or 20 yards away from it because gasoline can collect in low areas of vapor and you can have an explosion and you don't want that you're going to move the gas can way far away from you. Take that away from here, like 10 or 20 yards. Then you don't ever want to lean down and light it because the gas vapor will blow up in the air. You want to light a match and toss it at the last place where you made your gas line so that you don't get the vapors blowing up in your face and they catch on fire. There we go. And that's how you do it. Those yellow jackets will be gone real soon. One thing that's fun, the line of gas is already burned out, but the hole where you could pour the fuel down is still burning. And if you compress the ground, it shoves air into there and you'll get a flame that come up, so you can jump and it makes a big flame. 